Well, it is the middle of summer and you've taken tons and tons of photos, but what do you do with them now? Maybe post them on Facebook? Why not make a creative scrapbook? And I've got Karen Boyer, the owner of Daisy Lane Scrapbooking and Craft Mall here to help us and inspire us. So That's let's right. get them printed and in a book. If you were blessed enough to be able to take a great vacation to someplace tropical this summer, why not get it to uh, scrapbook? And we're going to be showcasing uh, a line today by Graphic 45 called By the Sea. And we're going to see how great it is to embellish and perfect for the scrapbooking photos. But you can also use all your scraps and your tidbits and do things with it otherwise. Like your souvenirs? and stuff from the vacation. And things like a frame and take all those beach pictures and maybe um, decorate your home, make gifts out of them, do things like that. And we're going to take the scrapbooking paper and the stickers and we're going to embellish them and take them up a notch, just like what you see here um, on the uh, little seashells and the buttons and the embossed images. We're going to put together a card using all of those leftovers from our pages. And of course, it's, uh, you know, Central Illinois, and right now burlap is huge. Oh, yeah. And so we snuck in some burlap on the pages. Um, but now, yeah. when you make a scrapbook and you've got all of this fun stuff on it, is it hard to get into a sleeve and it's not. make no, your book? The scrapbooking thick? pages today are designed to hold the embellishments. And what is great about doing a page like this is this is so worthy of framing it, make it into a shadow box. Oh, yeah. You know, if you've got a bathroom and you have a nautical theme, why go buy decorations that have somebody else's images on them? Why not take pictures of your own kids or family members, incorporate them, and make your own decorations? I like love that. that idea. Okay, yeah. so what are we going to be crafting today? So we're going to take the leftovers from our page and we're going to make okay. a card. And so what we've done is I've done the easy part for you. So you've got a card base here. Bless you. You've got a little embellishment to glue on. Okay. And I've got you some adhesive. And what I really want to point out is um, what's called fussy cutting. And so it's taking a piece of paper and it's cutting out the little images on it, which is like what this little seashell came with. And you can smack that seashell down, but it really isn't going to have the effect that like these do here. They actually look like a three-dimensional shell. Where it's popping out at so you. So I'm going to show you a really easy technique to okay. do that. And what you do is you take your little image in your hand and you put it face side down. So whatever you want to show. And then you take a curved um, tool. You know, I use really technical tools. And we I always scissors. use them for what they're <laughs> So take the handle of a scissor and you're just going to press that into your, your palm, breaking the, the will of that paper a little bit and making it curved. And so I don't know how great it shows on TV, but we just oh, went pop from up a, little bit. A, fl a flat image to a 3D image. Yeah. And if that's not enough, we've got some great products that we use to really make things pop off the page. Adhesive 3D dots are wonderful for gluing down things that are really hard to glue like seashells or ribbons and bows. And then we also have our good old standard pop dots. These are foam dots that have just a little bit of adhesive on each side and foam in the middle, so it's going to give it a raised effect. So okay. what you're going to do is you're going to put your adhesive on the back of your lighthouse picture. All right. And this, remember, these are all scraps. Basically, this is trash left from creating our page. So we never want to throw anything away. All those little pieces we can create, uh, cards, uh, little mementos, little gifts, things like that. So you can right. put that down. Hey, that was really easy to do, by the way. That was easy. You that like that tape. adhesive, not I do my like big that. guns that I usually bring. <laughs> and then what I've done is I've just pop dotted this um, anchor cut from a die cut machine, and then the glossiness to it is created using um, an embossing powder that we heat set, and it gives it kind of a vintage metallic look. Ooh, you can kind of maybe cool. set that on the corner. Okay. Um, with cards, it's, it's okay as long as it still fits in the envelope. Don't feel like it has to fit just on the base. You can okay. have it overhang a little bit. Well, I don't um, want to cover up my words by the C. Is that going to be... I'd Me. still anchor it to the bottom. To the bottom? So something's okay. got to be covered. And your, your focus still on this one's going to be your lighthouse. So. Okay. I won't let you mess it up. Turn it All right. Up. And then what I've done is I've pre-taken one of these adhesive dots that are real handy. They come on pre-cut little pieces, and I've tucked it on here, and you can right. stick that on. Okay. Any advice on where this one may want to go? I'll tell you if you do it ugly. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you off camera if you do it ugly. Okay, okay. And uh, we just won't hang this one up as a store sample. Or maybe you should and be like, not what Here's not Here's what you to don't do. want to do. Um, <laughs> and then you've got your bows and you've got these little guys that we can pop dot. And then we also distress with these. Uh, Tim Holtz distress inks have been used on the, the outsides of the images to kind of give them a little bit more depth. And the distress stickles is great that you can use. It's got in a glue mixed in with it to give Ooh, those details. Yeah. And this is how the embossing powder comes that we use to emboss the um, image on the uh, anchor. And so Very that's cool. got it, that adhesive dot. I'm making your job so easy. I'm you sure are. Thank you for that. Like assembly line. <laughs>
I love it. You know, I was reading on Facebook, one of my friends was saying that, you know, this is probably the most photographed generation and nobody like prints off their pictures Aww. and what a disservice you're doing to your kids, you know, not having any pictures for them to look through. Right. So this and is how perfect. enjoyable this is to oh, look yeah. at. So. This is so fun. Now you've always got classes and fun stuff going we on do. There, And the right. samples at the store and everyone's so knowledgeable that um, all this product, if you're, you feel overwhelmed, you're like, I don't know how to use that, but you want that look. Right. Any of the staff is going to be really comfortable and able to show you what to do. So. All right. So there's my um, work in progress right there. Do you think it Passes. I think it's, I'm going to tweak it a little bit, a little bit of tweaking, and we'll hang it hey, up at the store. And they gonna, can come in and see it. We're going to call we'll this have you autograph it. teamwork uh, right there, there. It's Karen Boyer with Daisy Lanecraft Mall there in um, Mattoon, Charleston. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. If you need any more information or you need some uh, tips on your card making, head to CILiving.tv after today's show.